everyone welcome back to my channel so today I'm gonna to be filming um, a makeup tutorial one that's gonna be quite chatty I want to share with you guys some amazing products I've just bought recently that I tried in the store that I'm super excited to try it and let you guys know what my thoughts are and um, I just felt like I wanted to do like a video like old school you know and just talking it I may sound a bit out of breath at the moment but that's because I do normally get like this um, after I've had like a really like busy uh, morning of errands and stuff. So yeah, this morning I woke up and I cleaned the kitchen and I cleaned the bathroom and I had like a soup all over the flat just ensuring that everything is nice and tidy because I feel like I, ha I tend to have such a good day when everything is kind of in order and when things are like all over the place. Believe me, there are times when things are all over the place and I just literally cannot think um, but yeah, I decided that I would do that, spend some time and do that today because I have a bit of free time. I have filled my eyebrows in because they look horrendous right now, like they have overgrown and there's, mm -mm. I was like, I really don't want to annoy anybody or offend anybody with some, you know, brows that need fleeking, you know. So I just decided I'll just draw them in and put some concealer just before I come on. But I'm going to show you guys the rest of the, the, the makeup look. I'm going to be mixing... My primer, this is the MAC Prep and Prime Skin Base Visage and this is the strobe cream and this one is in Peach Light. This is going to prime my face and then this is going to give like an illuminated look to it so that when my foundation goes on, it kind of looks really illuminated. So yeah, I've mixed all of them. I just really like the whole natural, simple makeup look. I'm going to be applying the Lancome Paris Tent Idol, which is ultra wear foundation. And my shade is in caramel number eight. And it says here that it's 24 hour wear. And I'm going to apply this using the brush that it came with. I'm glad that it comes with a pump. I didn't remember that it came with a pump. So that means I can control how much comes out. Because sometimes when you have those ones that you pour open, you end up pouring half the bottle and then crying because you just threw 30 pounds or something away. I'm going to pump some on here. So that's about four pumps. So I'm just going to like pack that on. It does have a bit of a scent. Hmm, I like the scent. It's not too like overpowering. Um, it's actually quite pleasant. It's got a really pleasant scent. So right now that's going on very smoothly and the shade is really good. It's like bang on my skin tone. Like it literally is my skin tone. It can build it up as well, which is really cool. So maybe just like I'm gonna dab on those areas that um, have a bit of discoloration and then that gets that really nice and covered. I mean guys, this is amazing. I'm just going to conceal and highlight the under eye area a tiny bit and I'm using the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. I'm a huge fan of the Natural Radiance Concealer um, by NARS and I really wanted to try this one out because it's a new one. And my shade in this one is Caramel. And I'm going to be using this Morphe brush, um, which is, I believe, number S4. It's going to take a tiny bit. I do want the area underneath the eye to be a bit more matte. And because I'm not going to be putting too much like powder and stuff over it, I thought this would kill two birds with one stone rather than having to mattify um, a really creamy concealer. So I'm just going to place this in the under eye area, just just you know in the areas that are dark. So I'm not really going to bring it too much. You know, you know normally I would bring it down here to do like a whole bunch of highlighting, but because I'm keeping the look quite natural, I'm literally just leaving it on the dark spots and in, in, in a tear duct area. It's already like brightened up that area, as you can see, and this area is still quite dark and needs a bit of brightening, but this is a really nice consistency of a concealer, and you only need a small amount to go a very long way because it's uh, in a pot, it's quite thick and it's matte as well. If you put too much on, it will crease. I'm just gonna place a tiny bit like on my um, eye itself, just to highlight that area. And then I'm going to just draw down the center of my nose just to add a bit of a highlight to the center on my forehead. And then a bit on my cupid's bow, my philtrum, 
and on my chin as well and then I'm just gonna blend that in using the foundation brush super blended um, I'm gonna be taking my makeup forever um, this is my pro finish powder and it's a number 168 and I'm taking my master stippler brush by makeup addiction I really love this brush especially to you know when I want to apply foundation but it's also very good to apply powder um, so I just dab that in there and then I just give my face it does set like no matter what foundation I have on it really sets it very nicely gonna go in with my um, pro long wear powder and this is in deep dark It's by Mac and I'm taking the space NK um, angled brush it's really good for contouring and deep dark is about two shades darker than I am and I'm just gonna use this as a bit of a contour slash bronzer I'm just gonna apply a very light layer in the hollows of my cheeks Just to bronze a bit, add a bit more warmth and depth to the foundation. I'm going to be using my glow kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills and this Morphe brush. This is a G23. I love using this to apply my highlights and I love mixing. My mirror broke by the way, I'm really sad about that. But I love mixing hot sand and amber gold and this gives me really like amazing glow like oh my god. I'm gonna show you right now anyway. I just put that literally on my cheek plane, just right there. And can you see that glow? I mean, come on, that looks really nice. This other side as well. And then what I do is I just apply it to the, my upper lip, like that, to give a really nice glow. Pop some onto my eyelids. Now guys, this is by far my favorite eyeliner. Okay, so what I was trying to say is, this is by far my favorite eyeliner of the moment. And it's by Sephora, and it's called Dramatic Line. And I love it because it's angled, and it literally, one touch, I'm gonna show you, it literally glides on, and it just makes my life so much easier. So, so we start with a little stroke. I'm gonna go into the inner tear duct area, and then proceed by drawing in the rest of it and then I'm gonna fill that in but can you see what I mean by it literally glides on so smoothly and before you know it you've created your winged eyeliner and that's it winged eyeliner done. I'm gonna use my eyeliner and this one is an old one man this, this is by who? Shiseido and it's a black one I've had this for ages but it's like my most reliable one In the eye. I'm gonna curl my lashes. And I'm gonna use my favorite mascara of the moment is by Benefit. They're real. Get that into those tiny pesky hairs that point downwards and sometimes make me look like, I don't know, something from somewhere. I need to really define that to let you guys know that I do actually have lashes, okay. But I love them so much, so I don't know, with all of this extra work that I'm doing and putting into these lashes, comment down with the heart, you know those two heart emojis, the, the big one and the, the small one? Comment that in your comment if you've watched till this point. Okay, so I'm gonna apply some blush and this is Max one, this is Peaches, Zoeva, and it's a Luxe Powder Finish Brush, it's number 132. And I like to use this brush just to apply a very light dusting of colour. To my cheeks. <laughs> Long pause there before I finish that sentence. Okay, so far, so good. I'm liking how the rest of my makeup is sitting really well on the foundation. So for the lips, I'm going to be using this very tiny... Spice lip liner as you can see I've been using it a lot and that's why it's become so small I'm gonna pop that onto my lips I'm gonna go over that with please me lip gloss by Mac Just 
and whenever I get to this point, I'm always thinking, do I just leave it like that, or do I add a tiny bit of brown to the outer corners to give it more of an ombre effect? And most times, I leave it like this, but I, want, I do feel like I wanna do that today, though. And this is Black Up Lip Pencil, the two-in-one lip pencil, and this is J, I've sharpened it all the way. I think it's, I think it's J, J U M O three. Look at it and then I get the right one for you. Yeah, I do, yeah. I do want to add a bit more of brown. Okay, so I'm gonna finish the whole face by spraying some Fix Plus. And that would give it a really nice glow even more and make the makeup stay. I kind of put this up to keep my hair away from my face, but I'm liking that it does actually go with the outfit. It's actually a belt and it came with the outfit and I'm supposed to wear it around my waist, but I think I might choose another belt now since I'm gonna have this on my hair. When you intended for something, but then something cooler happens instead. I like that. Yes. So guys, this is the finished look for the makeup. Let me know what you think of the look and if you like it and if you're gonna recreate it, please do and put it on Twitter or Instagram or something and tag me at Shirley Beatney Yang and make sure you follow me on those websites as well. Thank you so much for watching and see you all soon. Bye. <laughs>